All right, guys, welcome back to Sidewinder Shed. Another little update. Um, yeah, I went with purple on the oil pan. Um, oh, yeah. Put some flames on the uh, valve covers there, make it go faster. Um, getting ready to... Uh, Degree the cam. Like I said, I, I I just cover this engine up, put everything on it, keep dirt, dust, critters, and everything out of it. But, um, yeah, the problem is, the only reason why I haven't shown uh, degreeing the cam yet, and for, for some of you, you might understand it does not have a woodruff key in the cam. And it's been so long since I put one in, I don't have any brass hammers or brass punches or anything to put it in the cam. And I don't want to screw the cam up. I don't want to hit it with a steel hammer. I don't want to press it in with a pair of vice grips or anything else. So, this week, today is Sunday. This week I'm going to be uh, actually dropping the heads off at the machine shop to uh, have them do an, a real valve job to it the one i did to it would be fine if i'd left the uh compression ratio alone but where i raised it to uh to a little bit higher and after doing some more in-depth calculations it should be right around 9.7 to 1 for the simple fact that the uh head gasket i'm using is uh the crush depth on it is uh, 45 thousandths and the deck is not exactly a zero deck uh, the pistons are not exactly zero deck they are two and a half thousandths below the deck and that's a point zero zero two five below the deck um, the way I did that was with a straight edge and a feeler gauge and um, that's how I determined that. Anyway, uh, so my best estimates is uh, using a uh, compression calculator is right around 9.7 to 1. So that's that's good because I was aiming for a 9.5 to 1 compression. So I feel good about that. Um, I did put a key in the camshaft just good enough to... Uh, hook up the timing chain and everything and I use the old uh, clay or actually I use play-doh method to uh, check my valve clearances <laughs> and yeah with the uh, with the LA heads which have a 72 cc chamber on it and uh, with the cam which has a uh, 4.80 or point I'm sorry 4 point damn it 0 0.40 exhaust lift and 0 0.450 intake lift using the uh, clay or play-doh method to check your valve clearances I actually have almost uh, I have 0.298 clearance all I needed was 50 thousandths. I have almost oh, hey, 300 hey. thousandths clearance, so it's a very mild cam. Um, the heads themselves, the valves, the uh, valve guides and everything, they're, uh, they're not going to be machined. They don't need to be. I still have plenty of room before the uh, valves hit the keepers when they're open. And that's one of the things with the LA heads. Um, I've asked and a lot of people have said that, um, you know, the stock lift was, uh, point four one zero, And a lot of people have said you can only go point four five zero on the heads before you have to have them machined. Well, I checked them out and let me show you. 
over here yeah I got the uh, small testing springs on it and I checked the clearances on them plenty of clearance nothing's interfering so I don't know if maybe I just got a good set of heads or something's different or maybe the information is wrong but anyway guys I just wanted to let you all know what's going on with the engine and yes I have videos of checking all this I just I have to edit them, and I just uh, don't feel like doing it right now. So I'm just putting this quick yeah. update up, and uh, I will show you all the actual work later. But anyway, I want to thank everyone for uh, subscribing, sticking with me. And I know this is getting a little boring, and there's other better channels out there that shows this stuff. I'm just a idiot that's doing it in my garage out here, my shed out back. But hey been 30 years since I put one of these together like this tore it down and did everything from the uh, from the bottom up and I appreciate you all uh, sticking around with me and uh, watching it and thank you all so much you all have yourselves a good day have a good weekend have a good week we'll see you next time hey y'all that lighting wasn't really showing the color so I figured I'd uh, throw up a couple of pictures here Anyway, y'all have a good one. Take care.